So I've got the Roadcaster video here and I want to talk a little bit about the scene builder because this is one of the major features that I think is going to set this device apart from a lot of other live streaming switchers. Now when it comes to live streaming, there's many times where you might want to build out a scene that has multiple layers. Think of this like your picture in picture or your multi boxes, like if you have a camera of a person and then you want maybe your PowerPoint slides next to it. So the scene builder is where we do that. And the best way or easiest way to do that is with the Rode Central software. So I've got a USB-C cable. It's connected to USB-C number two on the Rodecaster video and connected to my computer. Once I do that, I can open up Rode Central, go into the Rodecaster itself, and I'll see my scene builder. With the scene builder open, you're going to see a preview window. So whatever's in your preview, you can see that here. And now we've got to get to building out a scene. Now with that scene button activated on the Roadcaster video, in my settings here, I'm going to click on slot number A since I don't have any scene and I can confirm that A through G, there's no scenes in there on the multi-view just yet. So that's why we're gonna jump in here and build out scene A. I've got my options for template or custom. So you'll see in the template, we can use all sorts of layouts like picture in picture, uh, under more, there's more like side-by-side -side boxes. There's a quad box, a triple box, double. And then uh, we've got some more options down here where you can see kind of like one box on top or off to the side and even more options. For me, I'm just going to build a custom one because I find that a little bit easier. So we're going to go to a custom layout here. And now I've got my layers. So if I want to add a new layer, I can do that from here. For right now, let's start with the bottom layer. And for this one, I want this to be an image. So in order to assign an image to it, let's say we want this double box here. I'm going to click and drag it over. And now I've assigned that image to that layer. But because this image in particular has transparent cutouts for each of these two boxes, this one's going to have to go at the top of my stack. So I can click and drag this up to the top of the stack and now I can start going through my other layers here. For this box, all I need to do is two finger click since I'm on a Mac or right click on it and I'm going to go to my inputs. I wanna put, let's say maybe camera three. So camera three into this box. So now you can kind of see it here. And I'm gonna click and drag this to adjust the size of it because I want this going into that second box. Now, one thing you'll notice here is as I'm dragging this, I cannot drag it off frame to basically move it over in an easier fashion. So I'm gonna to have to size it this way by making it taller and go this way and then cropping it by clicking and dragging this left hand side. And now I can move this where it needs to go right inside of this frame of the box. All right, so I've got my one image there. Now I need to add a second one to this side. We're gonna hit the plus sign. I'm going to assign input Let's go with input two. Let's just pretend that that's like a PowerPoint slide. So input two to there. And I need to drag this down lower so it's below our scene. And then if I wanna resize this, make sure it's selected in that right-hand panel and then click and drag to resize based on the boundary box. And now I've got my scene right here ready to go. I've built it out and I can cut to this by selecting the scene in A, because I can see that in the multi-viewer A, which puts it into preview. And then if I cut, now it's in my program. So I can build multiple of these multi-box scenes that I can cut to. And then I can cut back to the person speaking. So let's say we've got three. We're going to cut back to that. So the person talking, then maybe they're going over to their PowerPoint slides. So just assume that this green box here is our PowerPoint slide. So we can cut that back in. Now, when they're referring to something on the slide, I can go back to A and bring that up on screen. So I have the ability to cut between this multi-box, multi-layered scene that I've built. And now I can build even more. So let's say I wanna go and build another one. I can go to scene B. Let's go to our template here. Let's say in this one, we're gonna use the layout that's a, uh, let's go with kind of the fun ones. Let's say maybe something like this, where it's a box on top and a box on bottom. So in this case, we might need a background image. Well, the cool thing is I can actually use my video as a background. And then for A, let's choose our camera one. And then for B, let's choose our camera two. 
And now you see I've created this additional layout. And when I take this live, if I cut to B, right? So B is selected in the preview. If I hit cut, it will start to play that video back as my background. So we can now use video backgrounds in this multi-layered scene where I've now added in both cameras one and two into the boxes. And then if you wanna customize that even further, you can choose apply borders here in the software. I can turn it off and then that will remove our borders from this. So if I select, let's say camera, let's select the right scene here. So if I select camera one, I can take my borders off and if I wanted them on, I could change the color. So let's go with a fun color. Let's pick this orange and then I can change the size of them. So if I wanna make the size bigger, I can click and drag and make a thicker border around it. And now you've got a whole new image that you can use for this scene. And because that original scene is in program, I just have to hit cut to bring that new scene in here, that updated scene. So you can see it's very easy to make these multi-layered scenes live on the spot and still cut away to your camera angles very quickly and then back to the scene. So I've seen A right here, I can call that out. And then I've got scene B right here, I can bring that up. Very, very quick and easy to do this. This is probably my favorite feature on the Roadcaster video. I have not found the most creative way yet to leverage this at the moment, only because there's so much you can do with all of the layers and the borders and video backgrounds now. So there's going to be a lot of fun and exciting things in live streaming when we can start to create these more visually friendly, uh, you know, boxed frames or however you want to make them. One thing to note, the boxes on this are a solid rectangular border. I had to create this image in Photoshop if you wanted something like this where it's got the rounded corners. And because it has the rounded corners, it has to remain at the top of that stack to overlay over top of my camera input. So just keep that in mind if you're in Photoshop or Canva. These are actual transparent cutouts and then this image is layered over top. The Roadcaster video, very exciting, very cool stuff coming down the pipeline. Can't wait to get this in your hands. There are links to the Roadcaster video down below, and I've got a few other videos on this just showing an overview, and a little bit more about this is on the way. Tons more content to see here. Can't wait to show it to you, and I'll see you next time.